In this video, we are going to create a service playlist and utilize all of the different kinds of content you can create in ProPresenter. This playlist will include songs, announcements, and scripture. Basically everything you need to run a smooth event. Ready? Let's dive in. First, we need a playlist. Think of it as the backbone of your service or show. It allows you to take presentations and media and put them in the exact order you need them. Here's how you do it. On the left panel, click the plus button. Select new playlist. Name it something simple like my first service and hit enter to save. Just like that, you've got a space to build your run of show. Now let's add some content, starting with a song. If you already have songs in your library, you can drag them into the existing playlist from the library, or you can right click on the presentation name, hover over, add to, and choose your desired playlist. For a new presentation, click the same plus button as before, but this time select new presentation. Name it after your song title, adjust your theme if needed, then select new. Now you're ready to add lyrics. Click on your blank slide, then click on the edit button in the menu or right click on the slide and select edit slide. In the editor window, type or paste your lyrics. Each slide should have a portion of your verse or chorus. A good rule of thumb is four lines of text per slide or less. It makes it easier for your audience to follow. To add a new slide, click the plus sign next to your song title in the top left corner of the editor. All right, let's make sure your text looks great. Select your text box, then select the text tab. Here you can choose a clear, readable font. Helvetica or Arial are solid choices. Select your font size. 60 is a good starting point for a 1920 by 1080 screen, but adjust as needed. And for lyrics on top of motion graphics, center alignment usually works best. If your text is hard to read over a background, add a slight text shadow or stroke for contrast. That small tweak can make a big difference. Once your first slide is formatted just the way you like it, go to Editor, Text, and select Apply Text Style to All Slides to instantly format your entire presentation. You can also create a theme from here by right-clicking on the slide thumbnail, hovering over Theme, and choosing new theme from selection. That way you can apply this style to future presentations. Want to include a Bible verse? ProPresenter makes it super easy. Click on Bible in the top menu. If you don't see Bibles in the menu, you may need to open ProPresenter settings and make sure show house of worship integrations is checked. Before you get started in Bibles, click on options in the Bible window on the top right. Click slide options and choose which theme you want to use for your verses. Then back in the Bible window, use the drop downs next to verse and reference to choose which text boxes you wish to be used for the verse and for the reference. Choose your translation and use the hover menu or the search field to find your verse. Once selected, ProPresenter should instantly create a slide with your scripture on it. When that's done, we can go to save as in the bottom left and insert it into our playlist. Pro tip, ProPresenter automatically formats scripture slides for you, but if you want a different look, you can use one of the many built-in themes or build your own. We'll cover themes and advanced Bible options in another video. Want to bring your presentation to life with images or video? Here's how, open the media bin, then drag your video or image into your playlist. Next up, announcements. These are great for keeping your audience informed and when used on the announcements layer can be played in tandem with your service out in the lobby. We create announcements just like we create normal presentations using the plus sign. Name it announcements. Now for each announcement, add a clear headline, key details, and if needed, an image. Short and simple is the way to go. Before we go live, let's make sure everything is in order. Drag and arrange your items in the correct sequence. Add timing notes if necessary. Use headers to separate different parts of the service. And most importantly, run through everything using the preview window to make sure it flows smoothly. If you need further assistance with this or any other feature of ProPresenter, our support team would be happy to assist. Thanks for watching.